fast. like this in Kirk's personal lab. This could be a problem. This vortex must be the side effect of the third energy experiment. So how are we supposed to get around this thing? Either we find a way, or we both end up as dino droppings. Not funny. Okay, I'll pull up any relevant data on the computer. Regina, you search around for any possible clues or leads.
the main generator of the third energy.
Don't move. And what do you think you're doing? Carving a name for myself in history with the ultimate energy source. Open your eyes, you freak. Your precious creation is nothing more than another weapon to be misused. <laughs> you seem to have a small degree of superficial intelligence. It's too bad that it is wasted on one who is about to die. Rick, our target has been secured. Report here immediately. Sorry to interrupt your lecture, Doc. You were saying? Yes, I was saying. I discovered how the third energy could affect space if it ran unchecked three years ago. I thought that the energy had the ability to transfer selective space to an alternate time-space continuum. But I was incorrect. The space was not transferred, it was exchanged. To put it in terms that even you can understand, third energy has the ability to replace a pocket in space with one from a different time. What? Yes. I came to these conclusions following this evening's final experiment. You've seen the effects yourself. Those beasts were occupying the space this facility is located on almost 65 million years ago. Right. So that's how those dinosaurs appeared in our time. Precisely. And that is what I have done. Uh-huh. And how many people were sacrificed before you made this discovery? <laughs> Who cares? The numbers are quite irrelevant. Let's just say that there were many. Extraordinary deaths for ordinary men, don't you think? Spoken like a true devil. A god or a devil? Hmm. I don't care about that. Only my experiment. Enough. Only one thing matters at this point. Your grand invention is blocking our escape. You need to destroy the vortex. <laughs> the only way to do that is to allow the generator's third energy levels to overload. Theoretically speaking, the third energy and the vortex will cancel each other out if they come in contact with one another. But there is one small catch. If you cannot stop the generator's third energy overload, this entire region may be shifted to another point in the space-time continuum. Then we'll just make sure to be somewhere else when the shift happens. No problem. But we couldn't even activate the device. <laughs> You're missing the initializer and stabilizer, right? Where are they? Calm down. They should be stored in one of the security level A rooms on floor B3. Very good, Doc. Now you understand our situation. We live, you live. Okay, I'm all set to whip up a program that will send a stream of third energy into the vortex. I'll keep an eye on the doctor. Regina, you go find those devices and overload the third energy. Remember, they're in a security level A room on floor B3. Hold up. That whole floor is crawling with dinosaurs, including that T-Rex. Let's get this situation under control before charging off. Here, take this. The disk contains the draft plans for the initializer and stabilizer. I stumbled over them while searching through the database. Fortunately, the room where the parts are stored is not far from here. We should gather up the parts and assemble the devices. Don't be ridiculous. Regina doesn't have the technical knowledge for that. We don't even know if all the right parts are there. We'd be better off simply trying to hunt down the completed devices. It's too dangerous down there. She won't make it! It's your call then, Regina. You're the one who has to do this. So what's your choice? Okay, let's do it. Whatever you do, don't drop your guard for a second.
Did you find those devices yet? <laughs> What are you still doing here? Go get those devices.
them with transmitter. Gail. Gail. All right. The overload levels are increasing. Just a little more. Looking good. Gail, what happened to him? I don't know, but Kirk's gone. I'm gonna kill him!
This is it. All that's left is our escape. Let's go. Wait, what about Kirk? What about it? It's a miracle we're still alive at this point. Forget about him. Don't forget the mission. You're not here to babysit. Sorry, but I have a conscience. I'm taking you back now. No, you two get going. I'm going after Kirk. What? You're insane. Don't you remember our situation? The third energy can't be controlled anymore. Staying here any longer is suicide. I know. I'm not back in 30 minutes. You two make your escape without me. Hey, do something. Kirk must be after the stabilizer. Why did you let him go? I'm finally beginning to understand him. He's a professional, first and foremost. It's the only way he operates. You're right. And it's up to me to do my part as well. I'll make sure everything's ready to go as soon as you get back. You got your man, Gale. You're not one to forget a grudge, are you? Come on, let's go. Regina, take this. A disc? It, it contains all the information on the third energy. Including the details on how to use it as a weapon. Once we deliver this disc to our government, our real mission will be complete. <laughs> Just as I suspected. What do you mean, our real mission? Our mission is to take back Dr. Kirk. That was the official lie they fed you. Your boss only wanted the data from the very beginning. What are you talking about? Don't you get it, girl? It's so obvious. The government doesn't want me. They want the third energy. They want this weapon all to themselves. And this whole mission was a front from the very beginning. Our government knew that Kurt's project had to be some type of weapon. I mean, just think about it. A staged accidental death. Political asylum. A secret non-weapon project at a hidden military base. And you know how this country has always been famous for developing new weapons in secret. Our government knew that there was a new weapon. And they wanted it. Our real mission was to ascertain all information on the weapon so that only our country can exploit it. 
Dr. Kirk's just a bonus. I can't believe it. Ha! You naively called me a devil before. But if you think about it, you know who the true devil is. I don't understand, Gail. Why didn't you tell us? I can only guess that the two of you were too clean to be trusted by the top brass. And what about you? I didn't want to put either of you in danger. What you didn't know couldn't hurt you. This has all been quite enlightening, but can we go now? You're right. Let's go, Gail. And this is the reward for a lifetime of service to the government. Sad, isn't it? <coughs> Let's go!
Well, that's that. Game over, folks. After this mission, I don't think I'll ever be able to look at a croc skin bag the same way. You have mail. The final report of Operation Dr. Kirk. Agent name, Regina. Dr. Kirk. Status, recaptured. We have recaptured Dr. Kirk, who is currently negotiating future experiments with the military high command. Gay. Status, deceased. Due to uncontrollable circumstances, Gale had to sacrifice himself in order to protect the target. Rick, status, alive. Rick is currently analyzing the data that was recovered from Ibis Island. Regina, status, alive. As for myself, I'm ready to begin my next assignment. Tom, status, deceased. Tom was attacked and killed by a giant reptile that was inhabiting the island. He will be missed. Cooper. Status. Unknown.
We lost contact with Cooper at the beginning of the mission and have not heard from him since then. Disc. Status. Recovered. The military R&D department is currently analyzing its contents. Mission complete. Operation Instructions Thank you. 